Uh, hello everybody, Anthony is here and today I want to show how I did cuts using the curves inside 3D code. So here I have my original shape and I right now have a split op a split tool opened. And I press E, go into the splines, can curves here, and then I have the top menu that is has got the splines and all that stuff. So I'll go into the uh, like straight lines, and what I want to do is I want to do a cut ac across, and I'm doing this. So I'm actually doing the points outside the border because if I have them outside, then the split will work through uh, quite nicely. If I had, if I do something like this, like like this so then the split tool will kind of split uh, through it and it will not do a good job you can see here I pressed enter and i got this done and it's pretty annoying and hard to deal with so i just undo undo and i will not want to use that curve so i'll go into the curve tree right here and i will remove it and i'll be using this one so what i want to do is i want to copy this curve so now i have like a backup to my original one and then i want to pick all these uh, points uh, drag select everything and I go in this remove sharp corners uh, click here and it's pretty easy we, we got it so we can modify and play around with the um, the intensity of it can be more can be less uh, you can do a traditional bevel it will be more like a chisel you can see if the value is a bit too much uh, it starts to jump around and becomes uh, you know starts to break but the thing is that you, you can do just a a single vertex, single point, you don't. You can pick one, pick two, pick five, just up to you. So now just do the cut, uh, just press enter and do the split across. Uh, right now it's not It's not doing a nice uh, cut, so I'll go and put in like 0 0.1. So now I'll have a little gap between the bodies. So there you go, we have a nice, pretty cool looking cut across. There's some things that are a bit annoying that jumping from the menu uh, to regular tools from the curves to regular tools can be a bit annoying sometimes it do not work uh, and it just kind of an issue with the interface that jumping between curves and sculpting is not straightforward and sometimes you're stuck with curves and you have to go in the e menu and make sure that you pressed on the on the brush or make sure you have to if pressed on the spline so you want to make sure that you do that but the good thing about this guys is that uh, this curve is Kind of modifiable so we can move it around i can rotate it uh, i can you know change the shape so now we have more of a shape preservation versus what used to be before where everything was kind of 100 percent destructible and in the next video you will see a, a narrated time lapse of how i finished off this um, helicopter so stay tuned for the next upload